Hello, my name is Terry. Did you know that over 2 million people are diagnosed with skin cancer every year? One person dies from melanoma every hour, every 57 minutes to be exact. Melanoma is the most common form of cancer for young adults from 25 to 29 years of age. And the second most common form of cancer for young people 15 to 29 years old. There are some charts that the doctor gave to me when they determined that I had a tumor behind my ear. A little bitty thing. Surgeon said, oh, it's just a wart, nothing to worry about. But about a week later, he got the results back from the pathologist, and this thing was melanoma. So they started throwing charts at me. The T stands for the tumor, obviously, and they have categories from one to three, depending on the size of the tumor. Mine was 3.6 millimeters. So it, with the ulceration, it was a T3. And then they go to the N characteristic, which is the lymph node involvement. In my case, it had not gotten to the lymph nodes yet. If it gets to the lymph nodes and starts spreading to the organs in your body, not a whole lot they can do about it. And then there's the M category, the distant metastasis, where they determine whether the cancer cells have spread to other parts of the body or not. In my case, it hadn't got that far. And they put all that together, the tumor, and the lymph node involvement and the distal metastasis and they determine the stage of the cancer. In my case, I, with a 3B tumor, I had stage 2B cancer. They also have a chart to determine how much of a margin they need to take. If the tumor is between 2 and 4 millimeters, then they need to get 2 centimeters of margin. That's why they said they're going to need to take my ear totally off to get that 2 centimeters. And then that automatically determines what's going to happen next. It's all pretty cut and dried. When they find the stage, in my case it was stage 2, and that automatically demands a PET scan. That's why they immediately flew into high gear and said, you're going to have to have a PET scan tomorrow. They weren't wasting any time. They knew exactly what to do because these charts are all in place. And they discussed the sentinel node biopsy. And the possibility of a wide excision was the next thing on the list to go along with that sentinel node biopsy. And then if the biopsy came back negative, then I had three choices. They could go with observation or the clinical trials or put me on interferon, which was gonna make me sick for about a year. And since mine was not quite four millimeters and it was not quite as large as it could have been, they opted to go with just the observation. I was very blessed, very fortunate that it didn't go any further and I caught it when I did. Folks, this is nothing to mess around with. I'm here to tell you that 9,480 people will die of melanoma in the year 2013 in the United States. Even cases of non-melanoma skin cancers have increased by nearly 77% between 1992 and the year 2006. If you think there's any chance that you have any kind of a, a spot that needs to be checked out, don't put it off, don't wait. Don't go through what I went through. It was a terrible ordeal, and you can save yourself a lot of heartache. I've written a book called Fears, Tears, and Ears. You need to read my book and learn a lot about this stuff and how to take care of yourself and how to talk to doctors and what to expect, and you can save a lot of heartache and a lot of grief if you'll go get the book. There's a link below this video. Go pick it up. It's an Amazon book. You don't have to have a Kindle to read a Kindle book. You can read it on your desktop computer. You can read it on your cell phone. But whatever you do, pick it up. Help yourself. Save some heartache for you or somebody you love. Read Fears, Tears, and Ears. Do it today.